Cake Heroes. Today I'm gonna show you how to make crackled fondant. Uh, for some cake decoration you can cover uh, that fondant over a cake or making maybe a 3D cake like a bag or something. It looks like this. It has crackled. It's very pretty. Today I chose pink and violet and you can choose any color you like. And now let me show you how simple it is to make it. All you need for this crackled fondant is fondant, of course, a blowtorch, very necessary, some colors, some alcohol, and starch, and rolling pin, and a silicone mat. Let me show you how to do it. First, you start with kneading your fondant. I already pre color it, so it's pinkish. You can leave it white or make any color you like. Uh, this color will be the one going in between all the cracks, like this. So I chose lighter color for the fondant and I will color it later with some darker shade. Just use some starch. And roll it out. About the thickness, so first I'm gonna roll it out smaller than the size that I need and later on when I apply everything that I need I will roll it, roll it out even thinner. So keep in mind that this piece has to be approximately one millimeter thicker than the fondant that you need at the end. If you have any air bubbles, pop them out. I used a gel color, pink one. It's good to use gel colors or colors in paste so you don't make your fondant too soft with adding too much liquid. You could also color it with powder colors, but they tend to not dissolve. So if you color your fondant with powder colors, do it one day before and the next day you will probably see some little uh, dots of color that didn't dissolve and you just knead it again and everything will be fine. With gel colors you don't need to do that. Maybe I should switch to a bigger one. about five, maybe six millimeters now. So I'm gonna stop. Let me see how it looks here. I think this side is better. That it has a lot of starch on it. So I'll just make it here. I could wipe out the starch of course side. Okay, now we are going to color the fondant. You can use an airbrush or you can do it with a brush, but you have to dilute it with alcohol, the color. You have to dilute it with alcohol so it dries faster. So once we apply this color it has to be dry before we use our torch. brush. I hope I have enough color. I don't worry much about how even this color is. It won't be that visible at the end. With an airbrush you can distribute the color more evenly. But I kind of like 
darker shade in some places and some lighter in others. outside for too long and the alcohol already evaporated. Good enough. Now uh, for this one I put some uh, the golden powdered color on it. bottle like this just to give it a shine you know me I like gold something like that and now we just leave it to dry it's a little bit sticky to the touch and I'll just give it five minutes and Set it to minimum and you turn it on and then you torch your fondant so it gets bubbly hope you can see you need to create those bubbles so you roast kind of roast your fondant Turn the torch off and now it's very hot to touch so you have to leave it to cool down so we'll give it five to ten minutes and then i'll show you how you roll it out the fondant has already cooled down so now i can roll it Okay, I have to use some strength. And I do it on both sides, sides, so I get cracks on different directions. Places. I didn't torch this fondant enough, maybe here as you can see. So next time I'll do it more evenly. It was better with this piece, but I think this has a special look, more natural. It's like real skin. I kind of like it. Mm, looks pretty. I hope you liked today's video about crack fondant. As you can see, it's not that difficult to make and it makes a pretty decoration. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time. 
uh, see you next time and till then stay healthy stay creative and don't forget that anything is possible bye guys Thank you.